Why does it say please stand by? It should be live. There we go. There we go. I know it's just back to the future again. What's this case called? Yeah, what's the case called again? Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it uh, next time. Or, or we'll do it after I, you know, I gotta get going. Mark, that's it. Cool. Alright, folks, Pitching Against Idiot, we are back. Like a little case on Facebook. Let's head on to the next case. Fountain of Oh Karakuro Mongolia. Let's get up to speed. Hey, we were just here. Just here, like literally today. Yep. Let's, let's head to Odai's Palace. Oh my gosh, we're gonna meet the guy already? Okay, there's there's a great Khan's palace. Now look at that beautiful fountain. Wait, there's a woman passed out there. Let's tie up the camel, make sure she's okay. Gosh, she does not look okay. She does not look okay. I'm just gonna throw that out there. She does not look great. Not at all. That's definitely a um, dead person. Red hat. That's not a red hat. What's oh, a hat? Oh, brother! I didn't think that that was a hat. That was my bad. I that was like a coffee grinder or something. Ooh, we get a star. That's cool. Does anybody know which one I should take? As, like to um, help out. Ace, this woman isn't passed out. She's dead. She was shot in the heart with an arrow. Look at the arrow still sticking out of her chest. I wanted to already orchestrate your murder in the previous village. Is this another one of his tricks to derail us? Gotta investigate this so we can see what we're really dealing with here. It can also help us gain the con's trust. And is that a hat? Only rich people wear something so cumbersome. It looks like our victims, which means that Crest might tell us who she is. Let's get cracking on this murder. Ace, I'm really enjoying Mongolia, and in the Middle Ages, it's so fascinating. Fortunately, it's been murder investigations since we have arrived. True, but that's what we do best. Your victim died from an arrow to the heart, plain and simple, minutes after impact. Fortunately, a murder with a bow and arrow means the killer didn't have to be at the crime scenes, though they probably weren't far away. Fortunately, a murder with a bow and arrow means that there's a clue sticking out of the body. That's true. What did you learn from the arrow? I found bits of meat and traces of veggies all mixed together, but it's not your usual fare. It's Budah. Budog is a traditional Mongolian dish. A marmot is stuffed with vegetables and hot rocks, which cook the thing from the inside. It sounds delicious. Stuffed marmot? Delicious? I'll pass. Well, more for me then. In any case, this definitely proves that your killer eats Budog. Well, when we find the killer, they'll be the ones who get cooked. Oh, show. And actually, there's only one that I can do, so let's examine this red hat. Crest left his hat didn't give us her name, but it show that she was married to a certain Subutai. Family crests were merged to signify marriage, and here the wolf comes from the husband, one of the most famous Mongol generals of all time, and the flowers come from his wife's family. The white victim was the wife of a military general. Could this be a political murder? We've got to find Subutai to see what he can tell us about his wife. Yikes. He's not going to be too happy, I don't think. Uh, but anyways, guys, I will see you guys back here once we get some stars. Au revoir. Alright guys, let's see if we can crush through this, okay? Look at this. 
Yeah, so by using the, um, using the, uh, what you would call it, the times six multiply, that's going to really help us out here. And... Oh, that's right, you guys wanted me to change the name of it. Uh, what's, what's the name of the, the case again? Death by Fountain or something? Skin flask, pestle. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I don't see anything. It's called? It's called Fountain of Death. There we go. Let's see. I forget what the Discord link is. to me. And I'll copy and paste it. The more pestle actually it wasn't actually that small. Now that I see it, I can totally see it. It's just it was lighter than I thought it would be. Is, is with the Discord thing, I keep copying over like a previous case, and I need to stop doing that. Alright, so all that stuff's been updated. Let's do this. Two cases in a day, and I got a hurry. So hopefully we can get this stuff done. Well, so I'm going to definitely have enough cash for this one, but if they have an, an additional um, case after this, after this, after the five of this one, I'm not, so I'll have to message them again for more if 
if in fact there's that 36 taste that we believe is going to be there. And I will uh, be making sure that I continue to message them again earlier. Yeah, it's 200 per case. So. I def I have a th I, they gave me a thousand, so I have enough for the five cases here. I need an extra two hundred, um, so I'll message start messaging them like a couple weeks before. I could have totally great. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna be like one short. I'm gonna be like twenty thousand short. So silly. I am trying to be as fast as humanly possible. <laughs>
my favorite drink is uh, is orange juice. Cause I don't drink soda. Probably orange juice, milk, and then uh, orange juice, milk, and then water, probably. Yep. Yep. So every every five cases it was cost me a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's why I could not do it for this season. CC is expensive if you want to speed things up. If you want to go casually at your own pace, it's free, it's you know easy. But um, I don't go at my own pace. I go fast for you guys. Oh my goodness, why am I feeling so hard here? That's the one that I was missing. Everyone calls Wally. See you, Lally. Lolly. Tomorrow I'll stream at the same time, three o'clock. To the, this morning I just couldn't sleep for whatever reason, so I just got up a little early. this too.
a frying pan. Those figure out where all this stuff is. Now to me the time attack's always, always tough, but it makes the other one super fast. But you, I usually get it usually like the fifth or sixth time. Yeah, not much happened. I mean, we're just we're collecting stars, basically, in the first case or the first chapter. Almost done, actually. Going really fast.
Boom! Shot the lock. Anyways, sorry guys. <laughs> I was going, I was just like hyper focused there. Oh, new job's going great. Love it. Cool people. Um, really enjoying my job, and I think I'm doing a good job, at least starting off the bat. So, got some props from some of my coworkers right off the bat. So, that's always a positive. Alright, guys. Let's head back. Alright, folks. Pitching Ace 88, we're back. Let's talk to Super Tide. Are you merchants? I don't want to buy anything. I'm busy preparing the context for a con conquest. Actually, we're investigating a murder. The victim appears to be your wife. My wife? I have a harem of wives. You'll need to be more specific. 
All right, different customs. Well, the victim was wearing a blue robe, red hat, looks to be in her mid-40s. Oh, that's Tang Z. She was my eldest wife, my most beloved mother of two of my children. How can she be dead? That's what we're trying to find out. She was found shot with an arrow near the palace. Why was she there? My family has access to the palace and often spends time with the great Khan in the throne room. Ah, the great Khan. Actually, we're hoping to speak with him for unrelated reasons. Well, the Khan is busy conducting negotiations with, with the conquered people, but if you saw my wife's murder, I promise to introduce you. Excellent, Ace. We're going to have a look inside the palace if the victim was there. How would you want to bet that he's negotiating with a mon right now? Yeah, so life's going pretty good. We could throw some killer parties in here. I hope the Subutai will keep his promise to introduce us to the Khan once we solve his wife's murder. Right, the victim will have to spend time in this room. Let's check out the clues you found. This coin pouch is the same as the blue victim's robe. It must be hers. Let's see what's inside. And you're right, this burlap sad looks kind of out of place here in this palace. We can recover the print on it to see where it's from. Let's reassemble this torn paper as well. Ace, these coins are different from the others in the pouch. It looks like they're strung on a bracelet. The print of portraits on them. This is Tangzi and that's Subutai, her husband? Which means the second one is probably another one of Subutai's wives. The name on the coin translates to Young Dai. You better talk to her. Gosh, I kind of thought, I thought almost like she was like in for TV. I was starting to get a little worried. So there's a camel with some text stamped on this bag. The name Ayachin. He must be some kind of merchant for the palace. Let's go find him. Ayanchin. Ayanchin. I think that I think I pronounced that right. Hello, young guy. We need to talk. We found Tongzi murdered in front of the palace earlier this evening. Wait, Tongzi is dead? Does Subutai know? Yes, and he wants us to find the killer. We found these coins depicting the three of you. How many wives does Subutai have? We are many, but Tangzi was the first, the eldest. She was curious about the workings of the palace and overly ambitious. For example, the construction of the silver tree was Tangzi's idea. Oh, you mean the fountain in front of the palace? That's where we found her dead. It was her pet project. She believed a fountain that dispenses its libations would make Karakuru famous. Libation? You mean the fountain pours alcohol? Tangzi was a genius. Well, it looks like being a busybody got Tangzi in trouble. It's safer for us wives to keep it to a simple domestic life. Yeah. Greetings, fellow merchants. Can I interest you in any wares? Thank you. No, we're actually investigating the murder of General Subutai's wife, Tangzi. Oh, the general must be devastated. Do you have any idea who did it? We were going to ask you the same thing. What can you tell us about Tangzi and the others at the palace? Well, I knew Tangzi because she received my deliveries at the palace. She was always very cool to me. Many people from the palace are. But I guess to her credit, she always greeted my horses with something to eat. 
Anyways, I have work to do. Good luck with your investigation. If you need anything, I'll probably have what you're looking for. Ace, this scroll is so cool. Written in Mongolia, it only came into use in 1204, which was 31 years ago. It's pretty cool. What does it say? It says, Tongzi, my arrow aims straight for your heart. That's definitely a threat from our killer. Yeah, in the elevated style, the writing tells us your killer writes calligraphy. The writing's on the wall for our killer, Ace. Yep. Oh, brother, Jack, don't do this. Oh, great, he broke the fountain. Jeez, this is great. Anyways, guys, see you guys in Chapter 2 after I grab some more stars. Catch you guys, idiot. Au revoir. Hope for now. Jack, making mistakes. Jack, why do you, why you do this to us? Why do you do this to us? Hoping the red stuff was wine and it wasn't just blood, but a person just died in the fountain and Jack just wanted to drink out of the fountain. And it's like, if that thing was having what we like, if someone bled into that fountain, you're drinking blood basically. Just silly. Jack doesn't, I, you know, Jack was a lot smarter in World Edition, that's for sure. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong one. Oh well. I mean, I have to do it anyways, but. about the mother-in-law, just another wife is another person that you have to make happy. It just seems it's hard enough to make one person happy.
first card left. Well, nincompoop is, it's not a bad word, but it's not something nice. It's basically saying you're a, you're a dummy. You're an idiot. Yeah. All right, four more stars, and then we go straight into chapter two. Two people of you. I don't know what that means. Yep, yep. That is what my son says. I'm not big on cheating.
Oh, fly. Big huge giant fly. Let's continue to a we're back. Let's head on to chapter two. Where Jack was a silly guy and the person just died and got murdered in the fountain. Hey, there's a trapdoor over here. Did the fountain malfunction because someone's hiding inside of it? I need to go clean up. We could you head down there and I'll be right back. That's interesting. So there's no hiding down here, but like a quiver of arrows, and you're right, these match the arrow we found in the so That means they coated them down here, but I collect some of the hair on the quiver. That jewelry box has the victim's name written on it. We know Tan Z oversaw the pound of bandit, so it makes sense to find something of hers down here. Let's get it open. And what's this for? It looks like a harness for a work animal to turn the gears over the pound. But how would an animal even get down here through the trap door? We should recover the engraving on the chest plate. Well, now that we know our victim and killer came down here, this pump room certainly deepens our investigation. No pun intended. But don't. Shh. Okay. What have we here? The five and the two. So five, two, five, two, five. Two, three, Suitor, let's get to the lab and see what Orlando can tell us. Um, throw it out, maybe your husband killed her because she was with someone else. I don't know. Seems like this uh, this culture is a little bit more cutthroat. Well, according to the tablet, the text on the harness says, Wu Ming, property of the Great Khan. Well, that sounds like the name of a person, not a working animal. Ace, we need to speak to this Wu Ming. Oh, brother. He's forced labor. Let's 
It would be nice when the Harrys took from a killer's quiver. A sample of Harry's equine in nature. Wait, that means horse. You see a killer's a horse? Or it's more logical that the killer rides a horse. Oh, well, that makes more sense. Ace is the first time we've got a victim from a ride by shooting. Especially relevant here since Mongol men and women alike were extremely proficient on horseback. Well, Ace's evidence certainly helps us to pony up to catch our killer. And you're right, we already know for sure that the merchant Ayanchin rides horses and transports supplies. Let's add that to our notes. Yeah, like he said, everybody here rides horses. Thanks, Connor. It's so exciting to be here in Karakuro, Ace. This was such an important landmark in Mongolian history. All we know of Karakuro's historic silver tree fountain is in writing from travelers passing through at this time, but here we actually get to see it in person. One drink wine from it, who would have thought we'd find a booze fountain here in medieval Mongolia? Young guy told us the victim was in charge of the fountain, and we found her earrings in the pump room below it. But does that help our investigation at all? Of course it does. The victim's earrings were an actual gift from the man who designed the silver tree. A French goldsmith named Guillaume Bouchure. How can you tell? Well, the Fleur de Lis' design of earrings and the Roman writing of your victim's name on the box prove that Monsieur Bouchure is the one who made them. What do you suppose his intentions were when he gave these earrings to the general's wife? Let's go ask him. This guy looks like I take the Mongolian over this guy in a fight, for sure. So how you doing, Luke Wu Min? Oh, I only set out for some fresh air. I wasn't escaping, I promise. Wait, wait, calm down. We're not soldiers and we don't wish you harm. We just want to talk. We found this harness on the fountain. Yes, that's mine. Then you can wear it to keep me attached to the pump wheel. And then I just walk around and around for hours on end to keep the fountain flowing. Oh, so you're a slave. Yes, I was a Chinese soldier captured by the Khan, but Tang Zi is the one who worked us to death to keep that stupid fountain running. We understand you're in an awful situation. It's complicated by the fact that we found Tang Zi murdered earlier tonight. Tang Zi is dead? Oh no, what if the Khan comes home and finds out? What is going to happen to me? Please don't report me. I better go back to my post. Something tells me that you're not. Mr. Richard, we found the general's wife, Tommy Z, at the Silver Tree earlier tonight, killed by an arrow from the heart. Oh, Quahoru! What was the fountain damaged at all? Well, no, it wasn't, but we thought you might get a little bit more touched by the news. We found these earrings you'd given her. Was there something between you? Monsieur, no. I gave joy to each of the general's wives to thank them for their hospitality when I stayed in the palace. I stopped here in my travels and was commissioned to make a fountain to commemorate the founding of Karakoro. The silver tree is my greatest achievement. And I love this palace. The people here are so wonderful. The food is magnificent. My favorite is Boo Dog. I decided to learn the language and I can now write in calligraphy. And it is so different from French calligraphy. I'm sorry to hear of Tangzi's death, but you'll have to excuse me. I have much work to do. Let's talk about the silver tree. It makes me think it'd be good to take another look around the tree. Let's go. Definitely think that's that it should happen. Oh my goodness, we're going back to the to the crime scene. What is this sorcery? Seems strange that such a fancy weapon will be left around, around, lying around like this. And that's why it seems to be locked in the sheath. We should take a closer look at it. It's a torn document. I can spot one in writing, but we'll need to get it reassembled before we have any type of, of hope of translating it. See animals drawn at the text would take me ages to put in the tablet. Better sense now looking. 
Oh, so your tablet can't actually, like, read a photo. Okay. If you say so. I'll trust your judgment. You know the equipment better than I do. Crystal's sword is Subutai's. You know, Subutai's sword ended up at the scene of his wife's murder. Let's go talk to him. That sounds ominous. Hey, this document brought me as a bill stamped with a refusal. Apparently, the merchant I and Chen delivered a bunch of livestock to the palace, and the stamp shows that Tanzi forbade him from doing further business with the palace. Wait, why would she oust him like that? It's not written here, but all I know is he delivered a lot of animals, and then she canceled their business to all together. I don't know, Chen can have been happy about this. We're gonna go talk to him, Ace. Mm. What's up, Subutai? Merchant Singh, have I watched murder yet? We're still on the case, General. We actually found your sword here by the silver tree. Let me get this for a Tanzi to use when I'm away. She carried it sometimes when making the rounds. Tanzi was very skilled with the sword, but the sword is powerless against an arrow. Well, you made it, you made me restless again. I hope my clarity would put my mind at ease and recenter myself. But now I'll be able to focus on planning the upcoming siege. I'm gonna eat my boo dog. Do not disturb me unless you have found my wife's killer. May I bug you one more time? Hey, Chen, we found this document you wrote for Tongzi. It appears she fired you from the work with Pal from work palace. Yes, Tongzi claimed the animals I brought were substandard. I'll admit that I didn't provide palace, call palace quality animals. Much of my stock had been starved or frozen to death in the recent snowstorms. But then Tongzi proceeded to tell everyone in Karakuro that I was a swindler and that my other contracts started to disappear. Wow, you must have been furious. There's no time to be angry when you're penniless and have to survive. I've been making do with Boo Dog, but wild marmots are scarce this time of year. I try to relax and forget how hungry I am by practicing my calligraphy, but my hand trembles with fatigue. I should go now. I have to still have to find some food for dinner. Thank you for telling us everything there. Merchants, what are you doing in my palace? There better be a good explanation for this. You guys, Ace, it's the Great Khan. Yep. What's up, Great Con? We'll see you guys and we'll see you in chapter three. So you guys eat. Over and out. Alright, let's do this real quick. This should take what 10, 20 minutes? Nah, probably like 15 minutes.
eight more stars. And actually probably only like what, nine more stars, and then we can finish this off. So we'll definitely I think we'll definitely be able to get this through. We won't be able to do another case, but we can definitely finish this case. Actually, you know, really low on um, energy. Just like interesting. Hey, I can really stop. I mean, you keep giving me that. I don't care about my level. All I really care about. Is more stars. out to them. Is that something that takes that that thing costs way more than it does to even speed up the game. Four more stars? Five more stars in total? sitting on so much energy because I've been lucky enough to, you know, be sending stuff to friends and stuff, but I'm maxing myself out. like be on this game like every every day sending sending energy back and forth
right, just what I needed. Hoping to do page 28, but I'm I'm actually looking right now, and I might be getting low on on energy. So I'm gonna need to figure out a way to get energy. I used to have just tons of friends that I would just add and and send energy back and forth to, but the people that play has have kind of decreased. That's right, and I also used to get burgers all the time, but now I don't get burgers, I just get, uh, I can go to previous cases and see if I can buy burgers. Chapter 3. Fantastic, and it finally gave me an extra hundred stars. You can be back to back. All right. Well, I didn't really need it the second time. All 
All right, folks, Puccini's idiot, we are back. Let's head on to chapter number three. We grabbed all of the stars, and Ogadai Khan is not too happy with us. Oh, great Khan, Tongzi was found dead. Her husband, the great Subutai, has been tasked with finding her killer. Tongzi was murdered? Who dare someone commit murder in front of my palace? Why are we standing here discussing it? Get back to work, and when you find the killer, bring them to me. Yeesh, ace, now the Khan expect, himself expects results. These stakes have just gone up a notch. Our first order should, have had, should be having a little look at that palace. Silver Tree Fountain. It shows changes to its design. Someone wanted to add turtles? Tongzi signatures here. Let's recover the other markings on the diagram. This fancy robe is all torn up and dirty. It looks like someone got into a fight. The style and color, color is similar to the robe Tongzi was wearing when she was killed. This must be another one of hers. Who did she fight with? Let's take a sample of the dirt and see if we can determine where the fight happened and with whom. The dog got torn to pieces. Let's put it back together. We've got to hurry up with this case. Ace, I don't see what happens if we get on the con's bad side. Yeah, I don't want to see what happens when when uh, time for work gets uh, gets up there. So okay, so I probably have enough energy for one more case. I have no idea if I have energy for anything other than that. So I have got to think of a plan of action. Oh, this is a little totem. It looks like Tongzi. Yeah, because his stomach's ripped open, but why? Let's see if Brady can figure it out. Oh, dears. Seems kind of ruthless. Great, now let's get the dirt from the computer robe under the microscope. Well, obviously it's going to show us the last crime scene. Alright, so what we got here? C'est impossible. Oh, all of her changes he didn't think were possible. Oh, these comments on the diagram at Silver Tree are in French. That means Guillermo, Guillermo, Abel wrote them. I still remember some French from when I had to go undercover as a French dignitary. I can tell Guillermo didn't like Tangzi's changes. He says they're impossible, and I know quel affront means what an outrage. It seems Guillermo had some creative differences with the victim over the balance design. Let's go talk to him about this. Hmm. Hey, the dirty flag from the victim's robe is soaked with wine and mechanical oil. And that means Tongzi was beneath the silver tree where all the wine pumps are, which got in the fight that tore up her robe. So the one other person we know who spends lots of time in that dirt too. Woo me. Let's go talk to him. It's true. Mr. Boucher, it seems like your collaboration with Tongzi on the silver tree design was difficult. It was not a collaboration. Kairakuru's Silver Tree is the product of my genius and mine alone. 
The great Khan asked me to make a fountain. I made a perfect fountain. He was very happy. But Tongzi wanted changes. Monju, ridiculous changes. But to change it is to ruin it. She knew nothing of art or beauty. That's a lot of anger you got there. Certainly hope you didn't respond by changing Tongzi instead. Oh man, you didn't even challenge him that much. Blooming, what happened to Tongzi's robe? Uh, she must have fallen down and torn it. Mere fault can't explain all the tears on the oil on the robe. I understand, you know, it's miserable being a slave away from your own country, worked to death by your enemies. We understand why you fought with Tongzi. I admit, I had dreamt the day I could knock her out, steal a horse, and ride away from here back to my family in China. She was always ordering me around, ordering me to turn the gears faster, constantly, day and night. I couldn't take it anymore. So once, when she woke up, Close enough to me, I lunged her and grabbed a hold of her robe. We struggled in the dirt, but she got away and ran back into the palace, screaming that a punishment was coming. Well, that was quite a risk. It would have cost you your head if she had the chance to report you to the Khan. Good thing she got killed. But I didn't do it. You will not have to tell the great Khan about the fight, will you? Please, you must have mercy on me. I may have fantasized about it, but I didn't kill her. I don't think he knows calligraphy. Oh, hi, Marina. Miss talking to you. Marina, what's up with the doll we found all up the victim, and why is the stomach torn open? Well, as you know, medieval Mongol culture is highly shaman, shamanic in practice. A total like this would have been made to project a malevolent forces onto a person. So someone on the victim's guts to burst open? No, this opening actually targets the wound, as if someone wanted to make sure she'd never fall pregnant again. Well, we know she had two kids with her husband, so maybe someone made this totem out of jealousy? Good point, Ace. We don't know if Subutai's other wife, Yang Dai, has any children. Let's go talk to her. Oh, jealousy there. I can see that. Yang Dai, can you explain this totem we found on Tonsi? You made it, didn't you? Well, you have to understand, Tanzu was Subutai's favorite. Nothing I did for him ever got recognized. I wrote beautiful calligraphy for him. I made the most delicious budok for my family to ever see, but nothing worked. Still doesn't explain why you ripped the womb of the little totem. Because that's how she kept him so close to her. Last time I arranged for Subutai and me to take our horses to eat a romantic meal in the hills, that dirty cat Tanzi stopped him from leaving, saying her fertility was peaking, and this was their chance for another child. Subutai and Tanzi already have two children together, but he and I have no children. And I am good for nothing if I don't provide heirs. So I made the totem to curse her womb. It's my turn. I hope you saw me at making dolls and then go as far as to shoot an arrow into her. Wow, I hadn't expected some of the turns in this case to take them. Tanzi had some real enemies. For one, the beautiful silver tree was apparently the focus of a heated fight between her and Guillermo. Wu Ming, Yang Dai. Yes. Let's go back to the pump room. This is chapter three. We got it stars. Oh, there's a little otter down here. actually her husband for whatever reason. I mean I don't know the reason I'm just thinking it's him because I mean he's the only one who I think could shoot a bow and arrow I mean obviously they said the other one could but just don't see it Let's do the sample from the killer's bow to the lab for analysis.
Ooh, what's this? Strange ring, yeah, I agree. It's a weird looking ring. It doesn't look like it belongs in this tool bucket. It's too big to be jewelry. Still, it's likely it was hidden here by the killer. Let's see if Theo can tell us what the ring is for. Oh, it's probably like an archery ring or something. I mean, I've never, never shot an archery. I don't think I've shot really a bow and arrow, but like, that's what's going to be my guess. Because it has to be a tribute to the bow and arrow. Do you know what this ring is for? Yes. The bully used their thumb. Their bows were super powerful, but pulling 100 pounds of force would absolutely ruin your thumb. So use these archer rings carved with animal horns for protection. Ah, uh, okay. It is the killer's ring. I found residue from a male boo dog smeared on it. It appears your killer cut themselves in the rush to draw their arrow because I found some blood smudges in them. Blood smudges were enough to prove that your killer is AB positive blood. Ah, so it's going to be a blood type. Interesting. So now I really don't know. I mean, it's obviously it's obviously either her husband or her his other wife. Exquisite piece of craftsmanship. I would have killed to be able to use one of these in my country clubs archery competitions. Well, not kill, but you know what I mean. So sample of collected permit enough to finally identify the killer? Not entirely, but if you don't ask it, tell me your killer is male. He is the husband. It's gotta be the husband, right? That's what I thought. Again, I'm not entirely sure why. I just think he fits the bill as to someone who could do all of that stuff. Oh, it's not. What? It's the merchant? Why the heck did the merchant do it? Huh. Wow. Hmm. Hey, Ayanchen, you're under the rest of the murder of Tongzi. What? Why would I murder Tongzi? Why did that sometime would have my head? And yet you did. Had you planned it, I wonder. Or did you just see her sitting at the fountain and decide on the spot to shoot her with the bow? But then you panicked and hid the weapon under the fountain, knowing no one would but Boucher and the slave were over there. If Tongzi didn't take responsibility for her actions, neither should I. You're referring to when she fired you and then badmouthed you to everyone else? It was a long fall downhill for me. First I lost most of my animals in blizzard, and then I lost my job. What little honor I had left went up in flames. I was going from being a provider of lifeblood to the capital city to being a pariah with nothing to my name and not even a rotten scrap to eat. I begged Tong Zing to stop, and she said she would tell the great Khan of my inadequacies. But if she did that, I would surely be beheaded. So you made sure she couldn't tell the great Khan. It had to be done. She took everything from me. I had to take something of great value from her in return. We'll see if the Great Khan shares your philosophy. You're under arrest. He's dead. Yanchen, you've been instrumental in nourishing the growth of Karakuro. Thank you, O oh Great Khan. But you've murdered the wife of my top general. The repercussions of this act could not be equated to or could be equated to high treason. And all because you believed I would cut your head off for selling some of her livestock. I have more important things to do than squabbling over animals. Ayanshin, you're hereby banished from Karakorum. Karakor. Let's hope you can find a village that will abide a killer in their midst. I killed to abide pariahdom, and here I go into exile. You dare question my authority? Perhaps you should feel I, you feel I should improvise a more suitable punishment. No, no, no. Thank you for your mercy, O Great Khan. Man, I would have thought, if anything, this would have been a chance to kill him. Yep. As soon as his punishment was, we didn't even get a chance to ask for it this time. We've got to find your way to approach him again, because we need to find out if he spoke with the Mon. Something tells me the 18th century weapons he brought here are wrapped up in this, and that's far from good. Well, we did our part by catching Tom Z's killer. It's time we get to see the Great Khan. Let's do it. Anyways, guys, see you guys in Chapter 3 of the AI. This is Machines 8. Over now. And let's go back to Chapter 4. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 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 Yes. Let's see if we can do it. Merchants, I thank you for solving the murder of my beloved, beloved Tong Z. Now I can mourn her loss with the knowledge that justice has been served. I'm glad. Now, are you prepared to have a formal audience with the Great Khan? Yes, we even brought a camel as a present. Nice.
Oh, great Khan, thank you for receiving us again. We have come with this camel as an offering to you. Well, this is a generous gift, I thank you. There's something we wish to discuss. Do you know a man named Amon? He's a traveler that we see. Of course, Amon is a great friend of the palace. He came from far away Egypt, bearing good advice and mighty weapons. He is now away with my army, and he will teach them to make these weapons for themselves. Oh, right, weapons. Do you have any specific plans for those weapons? To crush the Song Dynasty, rulers of the Chinese Empire, of course. Oh, to crush the Chinese Empire. Well, that can't be good. Great Khan, that sounds rather rash. Are you certain you want to do this? I will not have foreigners question my decisions. You know nothing of Great Khan, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have terrible news. Your daughter, she's been kidnapped. Wait, what? Torjo Lin has been kidnapped? Who did this? We do not know, but she went to visit the fountain. The nearby soldiers heard a scream. She's gone. I will find whoever dares touch my daughter, and I will make them pay. Hey, we are expert investigators, as you see. We could have a look and try to figure out what happened. Do what you will, but I find you are wasting my time. I will have your hides. Yep, this is no boy, though. Bueno. Yep, not good. Oh. Kidnapping is an added complication. We promised the we would help, and this began its trust to get him back to break ties with the mod. Let's head to the time machine and update all the others on this. Yeah, but the thing is, is um, he has all these weapons, and they're gonna—he's gonna see that they work well. That's all that's gonna matter. Clearly, on Mon's eyes, helping Mongolia defeat China means Ptolemies can piggyback on Mongols to take over and show their own rise to power. So you're saying everything we fixed in the Age of Sail will never have been for nothing? We can't let this happen. We've got to dissuade the Khan from fighting this war. Our best shot at gaining his trust is finding his daughter's kidnapper. Let's show with that ace. I have a small request. Guillermo is an incredible engineer. I would be remiss if I didn't get a chance to talk to him. Alright, Kai. First we'll search for clues of the kidnapping of the Silver Tree. Then we'll talk to Boucher. Yes, I'm playing it on Facebook, but you can download it um, on the Apple Store or the Google Store. Mr. Boucher, it's an honor to meet you. The mechanism and fountain you built is absolutely incredible. Uh, merci beaucoup. Are you a fellow engineer? Yes, and I happen to be a great fan of your work. Oh, must have been it. I could use your help right now, though. It seems the force of the gears running the pump was too great, and one of them broke. The great Khan is in no mood to have a broken fountain. And now that Karakuro's principal merchant has been sent away, I have no way of maintaining a replacement gear. We're happy to help, Mr. Boucher. Ace, to see what kind of gear we'll need, let's have a look around for the broken one. You should find a way to where you don't have slave labor driving it. That's what you should do. Yeah, I would not be surprised if Amon was the one who kidnapped. I saw a portrait of the palace of a young woman wearing this color. This must be the princess, and she must have dropped the scarf when she got kidnapped. And you're right. There's a piece of paper caught in it. Could this be a clue? We need to retrieve it to see what's on it. Man, if I were them, I would I would try and make it so that the um it made it seem like Amon was the one who kidnapped her. This paper you found with the princess scarf. This paper was dropped during the kidnapping. You can tell us something about who did it. Let's have a little end to take a look at this. Looks like they're selling her.
Great Ace, that's the broken gear. Do you think you can repair it? Do I think I can? The better question is how long do you think it's going to take me to repair it? Ace, being here in medieval Mongolia has meant one incredible historical discovery after another. This bill is an example of some of the first paper money ever made. Oh, so that's money. Yeah, it was actually the Chinese who printed the first paper money in the 7th century, but it was mostly used as deposit receipts. It wasn't until the Song Dynasty when paper currency such as this bill entered its common use, starting in the city of Xinjiang. Wait, so you're saying this bill we fought found caught in the princess scarf is Chinese? Of course it is. Mongolia won't start using paper money until after they take over China and establish the Yuan Dynasty. Uh oh, Ace. When the great Khan hears that this princess kidnappers are Chinese, he'll never agree to call off his attack. I guess we don't really have a choice. We have to tell him. Great. No, no point. No. Maybe it is actually a mon. He's just like you know, making it seem like it's the. Like it's Chinese. Alright, the greer is repaired. And now I can see why it broke in the first place. It's thicker one part and thinner the other, which led to an uneven distribution of pressure. But I can make a new stronger gear for Mr. Boucher. You mean the lab in a few hours. Alright. No problemo. What's up, Ogadai? Oh great Khan, we've learned more about the Princess Torjolin's kidnappers. Who? Who kidnapped my beloved Torjolin? Found this bill of Chinese currency by the silver tree where she was taken. Chinese? I knew they should have, they would attempt to sabotage me before a conquest in China. Such a pity Amon is already preparing my army. Who else can I trust with the task of rescuing my daughter? Oh great Khan, we are happy to take on the task, but please, for your daughter's safety, call off your attack on the Chinese until after we've retrieved her. I do not usually show such clemency, but the army isn't ready for the siege anyways, but you better get my daughter back safely. And I'll take my leave to join Amon and my army near the Great Wall. I expect you to report to me that we've rescued Torjolin. It would be wise of you to consult General Subutai to discuss strategy before embarking on your task. It would definitely be okay to be getting a barter. Yeah, buddy. Give me that food. Give me that food. Give me that nominoms. Hey, this is a gear you fixed to get the proper dimensions for a new stronger gear to repair the balance. You know, if I'd heard about Boucher's Silver Tree before, I would have been obsessed with it. I built all kinds of hydraulic doohickeys as a kid. One summer in Hawaii, it was so unbelievable hot that I rigged tubes and a water pump that onto our fridge so I could pipe cold drinking water into the TV room. So the chance to see this historic example of human ingenuity meet its creator is really special. Alright, there's no way this new gear will break. Now let's get to Mr. Boucher. Mr. Boucher, we got the gear to replace the broken one in the silver tree fountain. Oh, merci beaucoup, you were very fast. The will be please have found working again so soon. Let me just go down and install it right away. Here's the moment of truth. Let's try it out. Oh, the air bubbles have to escape the pipes. It'll just be another moment. Oh, it works. The fountain is as good as new. Merci, Ace. And here's payment for your wares. Thank you. Perfect. 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 General Subutai, the great Khan is tasked with the rescue of the Princess Torjolin from her Chinese kidnappers. The Chinese kidnap her, of course. They're trying to weaken our spirits before we break through the Great Wall. Yes, most definitely. So we need to strategize the rescue of the princess. We found evidence that the kidnappers came from Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang is where the Song Emperor lives. It's a garrison city, which means their defenses are strong there. If you display aggression, they will kill you immediately. You must go with the heir of diplomats and seek the, out the Emperor himself. Wolves clothed in sh as sheep. But should you need to defend yourselves, take this bow. It is a fine construction that will help you out of trouble. Yep. And yep. Now thanks to the weapons, Ogutai Khan intends an attack and annihilate China. Our best chance of gaining Khan's trust and undoing Amon's work it is to find that Khan's daughter has been kidnapped by the Chinese. 
Well, since I'm related to Ogadai, that means they've kidnapped my great, 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 however many greats, grandma. We've got to save her. All right, but while we're risking the princess, we're not going to keep an eye on them. We've got to, we're not keeping an eye on them on. God knows what else we might get up to. I've got an idea. Kai and Penelope, you guys follow Ogadai's army to the Great Wall and blend in as best you can. Kai, you're by far the strongest in the team. Penelope is the only one who can speak fluent Mongolian and Chinese. Ooh, a spy mission. We're on it. I want to take Astro with you. He'll be able to communicate with the time machine. Unfortunately, such a distant connection is only possible twice a day when his solar cells are fully charged. But it's better than nothing. We'll do. We'll keep an eye on them make sure Amon doesn't get impatient and trigger the war before we can stop him. Meanwhile, Ace is rocked to China to rescue Princess Torture Lane. Whew. And that, my friends, means we'll do this tomorrow. We'll get up tomorrow, um, work on this. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Um, and then I gotta figure out a way to get energy because I'm gonna be getting low on energy. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for attending the stream. I'll see you guys then. Some fishing is idiot. Over and out.